There are few things that are more important to a person than friendships. Having someone that you can hang with, do life with, and share your hurts with is an absolute godsend. But in a day when text messaging and Facebook have removed a lot of the face-to-face -face interaction, it's important to recognize that we need the high fives and the people in our world, life on life, that can make a difference. Enter the band Switchfoot, a group of friends that have made their friendship a melody for the world to see. They're our guest, and guess what? You've got yourself a backstage pass. Next to our family, the most important life shaper you and I come in contact with will always be our friends. They provide one of the most fundamental needs every human has, that is, to be in community. We asked Tim Foreman of Switchfoot how important friendships are to him. I think friendships are overrated. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. No, I, you know, I think um, I look back at a... Uh, well, I look at our band, for instance, and, you know, we've been able to do this for six records now, seven records, and uh, it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the, the friendship that we have uh, amongst each other, the respect, and we actually really enjoy being together. And, you know, that makes uh, the moments when we're away from home for, you know, weeks at a time a lot more bearable when, you know, you're you're doing it with people that you enjoy being with and people that are reminding you of what's important you know we're constantly reminding each other as to why we play music um, and uh, and you know I think uh, it's important to have people that can shoot you straight if anyone gets uh, gets a, a big head you know there's there's four good friends right there to kind of bring them back down to size now I think friendship is only as deep as the kinds of conversations you have do your friends call you out when you make bad choices because they care? Do you, in turn, make sure and say the hard things as well as the kind things when your friends need to hear a voice that cares? Friendship is about being honest in love. And we've got more from Tim and Chad coming up. So stick around. You're watching Backstage Pass. Welcome back to the show. Now, friendship is great, and with the right kinds of friends, you can always know that there's a group of people that have your back. But life is a journey that throws all kinds of curveballs, and because of that, it's easy to lose heart when we only lean on ourselves. Again, this is where it's great to have healthy friendships. But what do you do when your friends have the same life experience you do and can't give advice about the road ahead? That's where a mentor becomes important. Well, we had the opportunity uh, to work with a guy named Charlie Peacock on our first album. He basically signed us and gave us our head start. Um, getting to record an album with him was amazing. He's uh, much more than just a producer and, a, and an artist himself, but he, he is a mentor. He is a, a man of, you know, uh, deep thought, you know, s deeply creative deeply spiritual, just uh, an amazing encouragement to us. Um, you know, he he could be very jaded because he's been through so much in his career and in his, you know, personal life. Um, you know, somebody that's been in the music industry for that long, you would think, wow, he's kind of over it or, you know, jaded, but he's not. He's, he's a guy who really loves people. He loves music. He loves communicating. And he really imparted that to us, just the value and, and the platform, uh, the value of the platform and, and, uh, and the opportunity and taking the music seriously, but not taking ourselves seriously. Yeah, I think having somebody to go to outside of your uh, parents, you know, your core family, somebody that you can look up to, somebody that you can share experiences with, uh, glean information from you know from their life experiences and and ask questions you know I think that that's invaluable on 
on all different life levels. So how about you? Do you have a mentor? Do you have someone you can go to with questions about where you're at in life and maybe where they've already been? A mentor is more than a friend. It's someone five or more years older who's learned from the highs and lows of life and can give you the footing you need to make your one and only life count. We'd love to help you find someone like that at Remedy. Drop by chatlistenlove.com right now and let's begin the conversation. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. Now one constant about life is that we will always keep growing. Having a mentor through one's teen years sets us up for success, but more than that, it allows us to see how we too can be a mentor to someone else once we get down the road of life. I asked Switchfoot about how they see themselves as mentors. Well, you know, the touring community is pretty tight-knit. Um, everyone kind of knows each other, and I, I enjoy that. You know, I enjoy coming to festivals like this and running into bands like Reliant K, you know, tour with those guys. And, um, the Almost, we're going out with them this fall. <clears throat> you know, you've got uh, these relationships that you maybe see each other a couple times a year, but um, you share a common bond with, uh, you know, uh, enjoying each other's music and, um, you know, crossing paths in unlikely spots. And, uh, you know, I think uh, we've had bands that have kind of come alongside us. Um, the one that comes to mind is uh, um, uh, Five Iron Frenzy. They took us out on three or four tours and we were, you know, just a little band starting out. And mm -hmm. We've had the opportunity to bring out a lot of other bands, whether they're from San Diego or just bands that we like, um, and uh, kind of shine a spotlight on what they're doing. Uh, which is a unique opportunity to be in the role that we're in, to be able to kind of, uh, you know, reflect some of the attention to people that we feel are well deserving of it. We have an event every year called the Switchfoot Bro Am that we do in our hometown of San Diego. It's a surf contest, and we have bands play, and we kind of get to handpick some of our our favorite local heroes and people from all over the country to to come and be a part of that. And that kind of really, for me, sums up the 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 spirit of kind of a shining a spotlight on what other people are doing. When you can do that, when you can shine the light on others through building into them, it creates a stronger community. One that's not made of any one person, but instead by a group of people that believe in one another because, well, they've supported each other in the past. When Jesus chose his 12 and then the 12 were dispersed to all ends of the earth, well, we began to see mentoring shaped with history's finest example of building into one another. And it's still going on today. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Backstage Pass. Now in my own life, I have had many great mentors. People who warned me of the pitfalls ahead and, ce and celebrated. Hmm. <clears throat> Welcome back to Backstage Pass. Now in my own life, I have had many great mentors. People who warned me of the pitfalls ahead and celebrated gifts I didn't even know I had. But one of the things I'm most grateful for is that my mentors always reminded me that life is meant to be lived. Well, one bit of advice that I always tell the bands that are starting out is to really enjoy the moments. It's easy to be looking towards the next thing and you hear a lot of advice from people around you saying, well, if we do this, then we'll be able to do that. And if we do that, then we'll be able to do that. And, and consequently, you're never able to enjoy where you are. Um, and I think that's true for life in general. It's really easy to look backwards and say, that was great or that wasn't, or to look forward and say, wouldn't it be great if, but it's very, uh, there's very few times in our lives where we're able to look at what we have right in front of us and say, wow, aren't I blessed, you know? And um, to, to try and, and live in the moment and, and realize those, uh, those gifts that are right in front of you. Now, as you watch this episode, I wanna ask, do you have the kind of people around you that you can lean on in difficult times? Do you have healthy friendships? How about a mentor? who can speak into your life and give you the guidance for the journey ahead. You know, at Remedy, we make it our mission to help you find these kinds of people. We chat, 
we listen, and we love. Visit chatlistenlove.com and let's have a conversation. And thanks to Chad and Tim from Switchfoot for joining us. And thanks to you. My friend, you've just had a backstage pass.